Good morning, First Christian Church. I'm here with Patty to do a chat with Mickey, and we're going to start off talking about some of the plans for Vacation Bible School. You got what are the dates for Vacation Bible School? Vacation Bible School is um, June 13th through the 16th, and it's the first time we've done it since 2019. Oh, wow! It's been, it's been a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so. So tell me what's going to happen. Well, I'm really excited because we have a really fun theme this year. It's called Heyday, which is kind of a farm theme. Um, and we're even going to have a field trip this year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be going, going to a farm. We're going to a, a sort of a farm. We're going yeah. to we're going to meet some animals. Susan and Chris Taylor have invited us to come down one evening. Uh, so we'll take all the kids and we'll get a chance to feed and pet their gorgeous horse and their donkey and then they have chickens and all kinds of really fun things so that's going oh, to be, be fun, a yeah. little different than usual but yeah i think it'll be really exciting yeah all right so uh do you do you need any help for bible school we need a lot of help for bible school <laughs> everybody always needs <laughs> help for bible school we do we need um people that are here that week we need people working behind the scenes people who want to work actually with children and those who would rather do other things right um we need people to help decorate um we, you know, make some scenery. We just have a lot of fun things that people can yeah. get involved in, however much they would like to do that. And so if they want to volunteer, uh, do they have to fill out a form in triplicate? How, who do they talk Not to? Not at all. They actually, you can just talk to me personally. Sure. Um, or you can just go on our church website, and there's a VBS link that lets you sign up to volunteer right on, right on there. Okay. Well, you need people, and that's a good thing. What about we children? We need children? We really need children. And um, I think this is one of the more important things, is we really need everybody here that feels like we have a lot going for us here at First Christian to invite people. You know, just invite right. your family, your friends, your neighbors, any ch anyone you know who has children in that four years old to going into fifth grade or sixth grade. Um, we just really want to, we want to really get a chance to show the community the love of God only with their children. So I'm, I'm excited about having yeah. as many kids as we can. Our own kids, most of them will be here, which is fantastic, but yeah. I'm encouraging them to bring friends as well. And you've got advertisements out, uh, signs out, yard signs available. We do. But we need every church member to be an advertiser for mm -hmm. us. Exactly. And talk to the neighbor kids and say, hey, why don't you come over to Vacation Bible School? And it's exactly. going to be July the 13th through the 17th. What times are it? June 13th. June, okay. So June 13th to 16th. Good and, thing we got yeah, that's here. Good, yeah. <laughs> it's 6 to 8 in the evening. 6 to 8, mm -hmm. okay. And it includes, you know, games, um, uh, Bible stories, snacks. Going to be some food. It's going to be, yep, it's going to be a lot of fun. Right. And we will have a few. We're going to put out about maybe a dozen yard signs around mm -hmm. town. So if you have a place where you live that traffic goes very slowly by your house a lot <laughs> let me know if you're willing to put out a sign because we're trying to find a few spots where yeah. it'll get really noticed and um so yeah we need people that's to do that very too. good and so what changes does the summer bring for the rest of the children's programming well a lot actually um kids club uh, meets pretty well regularly each week during the regular school year. Right. But in the summer with family vacations and camps and all kinds of stuff, we instead go to about three or four events that we have mm -hmm. scheduled, um, fun events. Um, so this summer we're going to do a swimming party, we're going to have a bowling party, a lock-in for our older third through fifth graders, mm -hmm. um, and then a destination unknown. Destination unknown. Mm -hmm. So, so we get in the vans and we go somewhere and they don't we give them clues on the way oh and they don't know where they're going that sounds mm -hmm. like fun it is yeah. fun we've done a few yeah. of them we, we've ended right. up at baskin and robbins before yeah, you just never know fun. yeah so that's going to be fun oh that sounds real good yeah you got anything else you need to tell us the other changes would be um during worship so uh, during yeah. the school year we have worship and wonder for children ages four through second grade and then um our parents of our older kids, uh, third through fifth graders, said, hey, is there anything for them to do during worship? So we started Children's Church for that age group. Um, in the summertime, Worship and Wonder does not typically meet, so we will combine our kids back together and have right. summer children's worship mm -hmm. um, with music and Bible stories, etc. that will be happening up here in the youth and children's wing um, mm -hmm. all summer. That sounds very good. Very good. Anything else you want to say? Um... 
just so I'm just so appreciative for all the many people who have helped during the school year. Every Sunday morning, it really does take a village to do yeah, children's yeah. programming. Um, we have, always have two people doing worship and wonder, two people doing children's church, someone who does the children's chat, mm -hmm. and then someone helping me with kids club. So every Sunday, yeah. there's about six people who mm -hmm. give up part of their time of worship or after worship, and man, that's just been so helpful. Yeah, um, We'll still have some of that during the summer, but... Um, we're always looking for more people that just enjoy being with the kids in a leadership role or an assistant role. So I'll good. just put that out there. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to volunteer for any of those, contact Patty. And I want to say again how much I appreciate your work with children. One of the great things that I notice is that you communicate with them and their parents usually by text. I do, most you of do the time. You do a lot yeah. of the text. Mm -hmm. So you're in such close contact with the parents that I think that's a wonderful thing. And I. I always tell you, I think you're doing a wonderful ministry with us, and I thank well, you I tell on you behalf what, of the church. Aw, I thank you for thank all you, you do. Our kids are our kids are fantastic, and our parents are wonderful to work with. So it it's a it's an easy it's an easy job for me because it's just fun. Very good. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining us with this chats with Mickey, and be sure to invite your friends and neighbors, the neighbor children, to come to Vacation Bible School. Thanks a lot. <laughs>